excellent. You did it right. I, I, I checked song after song and you did it right because you got uh, uh, mid-tempo songs, long songs, power songs. We, you have the whole thing yeah. in your the record. Anthem, the, the That's anthem, right, the anthem. The, the, yeah. the anthem, the metal anthem, you know. Yeah, I, that's right. Uh, I, I got amazed about the Sacerdote y Diablo. Uh, I like it, song, you know, and I'm sure that when you're gonna, you're gonna come to South America, the people is gonna love and gonna sing it like hell. Exactly. <laughs> that was, you know, I, it was a song. I had the idea for the song, and then I thought I want to send a little message to all of the people, Spanish-speaking people, and Italian. Don't forget the Italian as well, you know, maybe. But, uh, but like I said, I spent a lot of time living in Spain, and I feel very comfortable when I go to Spanish-speaking speaking countries because I like I like to I like to speak the language as best I can. I like to learn the language yeah. and, and of course of the lifestyle and um, and the people and I like that. So I wanted to put a little message on the saying I am not forgetting about you guys, you know, because I'm gonna be coming, you know, and I all want you to hear you singing the, uh, the lyrics but uh, I knew the song packs a power punch and I like the story about the priest and the devil getting together and, and making a plan, a devious plan for the devil then. You can never trust the devil because the priest was wrong to trust the devil and it all went wrong for him. So I like the story. So when I come, you know, um, to, uh, to South America, Central America, obviously Argentina, Mexico, Chile, but obviously all the Central American countries that I want to go to, I want them to sing the song. That's why you will be hearing that song when I come to your country. And I'm going to rise my fist when I hear rise your fist. Nice yeah, song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's all about rejoicing. We're back. We're going to be getting on the road, you know, and uh, and we we are going to be rocking the nations, and we want to see everybody again, just enjoying themselves. And I felt it. I felt it, KK. I feel in the songs like they are like heathens. You set up songs like for repeat to have power, like 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 united, you know, like the free song, you know. Yeah. You, you yeah. got it. You got it right, KK. I want let I want to let you know something. I was listening to the record, but I wasn't paying attention about the timing. And when I hear metal through and through, uh, uh, I just start to hear the song. And the first thing I said, it was, this is like a trip, like an adventure. And then when I, when I was in the minute five, I was, wow, this is an, a real adventure. And then I saw the timing, I said eight minutes and I said, wow. <laughs> This is too much. Excellent, brother. Excellent. What a trip. You see, I, I didn't even check the, the time and you grabbed me with that adventure. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you like it. And like I said, we look forward to playing that on stage because, again, that's all about, you know, that we are proud of our music. You know, when we're proud of the family the big metal world family and um and i'm looking forward to just singing it and and obviously i wanted to create songs where lots of people could join in you That's know right. uh, when we when we make the performance yeah i yeah, feel that lot, lots of parts have been created for us to be as one and sing as one because there's lots of musicians in the audience and there's lots of fans on the stage so we are as one. KK, the last two songs of the album are my favorites. Uh, Hell for the Priest and Return of the Sentinel. What a songs, what a end of record. What do you want to tell us about it? Especially Return to the Sent of the Sentinel. I think it's the best closer uh, for, uh, for the album. Well, you know, um, like I say, I've started, um, um, it's a new, um, it's a, it, I suppose it, uh, it's a new part of my life now, but what happened was that because I've been forced into this position, I want to enjoy it and rejoice in it and, um, and, and, and 
but I don't want to be everything to be completely new, Andreas. You know, I want you to take little bits of my past and my legacy and the history that oh, I've been so so I'm so devoted to and been a part of since since I was a young man. You know, since I was young. It's so good. so you know, I wanted to I wanted to you know, little parts of songs to bring with me to the present and take with me into the future. You know, I didn't want to just cut off. You know, I didn't want to just start everything new. So Return of the Sentinel, you know, that's a part of me, you know. And, um, and I want to do some more of that in the future as well, really, you know, um, to, to take little parts of the past and rejoice with them. and 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 still be creative and to you know renew and refresh and take ideas into the future with me and that makes me feel happy it's because like because it, if if someone dies that's close to you you know you know and i've just lost my sister a few weeks ago but the thing well, is at good. least at, at least i have the memories and things that i can touch and 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 there's elements still there with me. Well, it's kind of like this is with the music now. I want to do the same. I don't want to just imagine if you lost somebody, but you didn't have things that you could touch and you didn't have memories. I don't want that ha to happen to my whole history and legacy. I want to bring some of that with me. And sure. it, it gives me comfort, Andreas. The legacy. It gives me some comfort to be able to bring some things with me to my new life. You are doing totally right. Uh, KK, the fans of Judas Priest as me, we are so lucky, man. We, I never expect that when Judas Priest is closing the door in business, you know, because the last time I saw Judas, I, I don't want to give bad blood to the band, brother, but uh, the producer and the kid doing the guitars that land and you did it, it's not, it's, it doesn't sound, it, it, I mean, it's over. And, and just when this happening, the doors open for KK Priest, brother. What a lucky we are. I feel so lucky that you, for certain things of life happen, you now, you are now our Judas, you know, you are now our KK Priest, brother. Uh, so I'm so happy, and I hope you do, you, you are too, that the things happen suddenly, and suddenly you are going to take that place. Well, you know, I just do what, I, what I've always done, Andreas. You know, I have a love and a passion. Like I say, I started this journey when I was just very, I was a young teenager, you know, and I've been a part of this great music and this great evolution of the music, you know, from blues to progressive blues, to rock, to hard rock, to heavy rock, to heavy metal. And I've been on that great journey. And, and, and it's a pleasure now for me to still have a, a chance and an opportunity to continue that journey. And, um, and I really have been, a, you know, I want to go around the world to all the countries and revisit again and relive relive that journey and, and let it continue for me and the, and this really good band that i have now and we're, we've already got music for the next record so we're really really excited i love what you said the, the blues the, the 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 transformation of hard rock metal the history that's my show kk every time i i speak on the microphone i tell the the listeners the, the blues like you that guys did with the green man alishi yeah, uh, yeah. It, that's the essence you know and i'm glad that you're explaining all this because i said all the time but if you say it is different so thank you thank you to 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 explain to my listeners how the things work in, in, in this name rock and roll, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's a big, it's a big journey. And That's we're right. so fortunate, we're so fortunate because before the 60s, we never had any of this, you know? There was classical music and jazz music had been around for hundreds of years. 
but yeah. we didn't we didn't have our rock music we didn't have you know it, it's it's magical that we're born at this very special time mm -hmm. that's but right what, what must happen is what we've created and what we know and love can't be just a page in the history books in 20 30 40 time this this true metal and classic metal must continue totally I don't want to bother you. I know that you have more interviews. So I want to uh, open the microphones to let Mr. KK Doing send a message to the rockers, to the people that have seen you here, that the people that is expecting so much about KK Priest. What do you want to tell to my listeners, to the Colombian rockers, KK? Well, I would like to say to every fan in Colombia, you know, you're, you're always in our minds and in our hearts. Um, I've only been to your wonderful country just once, but it was tremendously exciting and a fantastic show. So um, hopefully you can be patient and, uh, and wait for KK's Priest to come and play some shows. And um, it would make us very, very happy and for obviously for us to come to all Central America and play as many countries as we possibly can. We know you guys are real true and, uh, and classic metalheads and heavy rock fans. And, um, and as I said, so please be patient and we'll be with you as soon as we possibly can. So all of the promoters listening, please book KK's Priest to come to Colombia, Bogota, and Central America. Thank you very much, Mr. KK. Uh, as I told you, you are going to be number one in our top 25 metal detector. And this is not because we spoke today. Uh, this is not because I'm a Judas Priest fan. It's because you did a great work. You did a great piece of art talking about metal, rock, hard rock, whatever you want to call it. Thank you, brother. And, and congratulations for this album. You are going to, you, you, are, you are in the middle of a, of, a, of a weird circumstance, man, because you, you have a, a huge future right <laughs> in you. <laughs> That's great to hear, Andres. Thank you very much indeed. Check this out. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I like okay. it. Okay, okay, can you do me a, a, a very last favor, uh, like a lineup saying, hey, this is KK Doing from KK Priest and you're listening to Rock Express. That's the name of my show. And the name of the station is Radionica. So Rock Express, Radionica, and you can say it with Andres or whatever you want. Radionica. That's right, that's the name of the station. We are, we are public radio. So this interview is going to be uh, on air on eight cities in Colombia. So it's very, oh, a very important thing, you know. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. so I hope you, you understand that we are doing the best we can. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Radionica. Yes. And the name of the show is Rock Express. That's my show, 30 years. Do you want me to say your name as well? No? Yes, say, say my name, please. Yes, please, say Andres, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is KK Downing of KK's Priest and you're listening to Andres on Rock Express Radionica. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you. Keep rocking. Thanks for your time. And uh, I see you here as soon as you get to Colombia because I know you will. Uh, I'll be the first in line, okay? We'll be there. Yeah, thank you for the, very much for the in interview and good luck with everything that you do. Hey, I'll do my best. Uh, I, this is my labor, you know. I'm a host between you and the listeners. So it's a pleasure for me. Uh, do my work, do my best uh, for people like you that make my, my heart, my soul happy for so many years. Like you said, you see all those records? Look, look. This little part is just for you. Wow. Look. Wow, fantastic.